What's up, everyone? Bam, bam. Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. My buddy, Nicholas. What's up, Nicholas? Dirty versus clean. Is it really that big of a deal? Hey, recently stumbled on your videos and noticed that you offer some great advice and opinions on bodybuilding, strength, tra strength training, maintaining an overall healthy lifestyle, and laying your large pipe. I added it in myself. You seem to be all for eating clean and healthy food, but I'm curious if eating dirty foods, or more specifically junk food, regularly matters if you still hit your macronutrients and make sure you get your vitamins, minerals, proteins, etc. I'm a fairly skinny guy that's working out three or more times a week in three months, have, a, have to eat a lot to be able to gain any muscle. I know since I weigh my food and keep track of my diet in general, I eat junk food around twice a week. And I've begun to wonder if it really matters what you eat as long as you get enough of what you need. Please answer this question. It's been bugging me for months. Well, you know what else bugs you for months? The clap. Anyway, check it out, guy. All right, check it, check it. Check, 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 check. Mic check, one, two. Wiki, wiki, wiki. All right. It doesn't matter. For general fat loss, I've always said this, even when I'm still not an IIFYM guy. Sort of. You know, my whole thing is, I am for what it should be. If it fits your macros, it is for when you've eaten mostly micronutrient-dense, healthy foods, throwing in some fun foods here and there. And the bottom line is, as you get deeper and deeper into caloric deficit, it's going to be much harder to fit dirty foods because your fat's going to be too low or your carbs are going to be too low. So an enchilada with full fat sour cream, guacamole, and a big ass 100 gram of carb tortilla probably isn't going to work. That's where bro foods and rice cakes and low fat tuna and bro foods come into play, right? Now, if let's say you've eaten your meals and you have 30 grams of carbs left over, 36 grams of carbs, 4 grams of protein, and 2 grams of fat left over, and a skinny cow ice cream sandwich fits those macros, which I believe is dead on for the skinny cow cookies and cream, it's not going to affect your fat loss. At the end of the day, it is calories in versus calories out. Meal timing, meal frequency is decently irrelevant. Um, and any advantage it'll make is, is very, very, very understated. It's not that big of a deal. So, um, especially when you're having trouble gaining weight, let me tell you this. I was talking to Van about this the other day. Um, when we got done talking about, you know, other things, you know, like, like pooping from trees and stuff like that, we talk about stuff like this. And I remember when we were balking, when he was balking, we went, we drove, and I was judging the show in Roanoke, my buddy Anthony Ferguson's show. And um, I remember we stopped by IHOP, and I was kind of dieting. I was still kind of staying in shape. I wasn't ramped up in calories. Van was trying to put on size. He got the Cinnabon pancakes. Boy, those motherfuckers look good. And then when I was bulking, I was eating chilies, friggin' big-ass, big-mouth burgers twice to two to four times a week to fit my calories because I couldn't gain weight. And that was after I could have eaten chicken till my friggin' ass turned red. Um, er. And it wasn't going to do anything. So... I do think that you do not need to eat like a bro 100% of the time. I think the new age of bodybuilding, the new age of nutrition um, is to allow some treats, allow some fun if you can fit them. A lot of people when they get lower and lower in calories and, and in, in macronutrients they can play with, they're limited in their food choices. But... If you have stuff left over, you can get creative. Now, be sure to get a bulk of your food from micronutrient-dense foods. Now, getting all your vitamins, minerals, and blah, 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 that's one thing. But you got to realize there's also some things called micronutrients, um, your ORAC values, and all that good stuff, which is where you need to factor in eating your sweet potatoes, your baked potatoes, your, your things like that that really will take it to the next level as far as uh, micronutrients and overall health are concerned. But if looking for straight fat loss... Or, or weight gain, calories, and macronutrients. Keep those in check. Gradually increase or decrease depending on your goals. And you'll be good to go. Um, yeah, I, I am all for eating clean and healthy foods. But last night, I had a skinny cow ice cream. 
you know, the night before, I, I'm actually about to go downstairs right now and grab some Special K with berries and chocolate. One gram of fat in that mug. I got plenty of carbs and protein left over. Put some MTS Nutrition Whey, mix with water over it. Oh, man, it's so good. So good. And that's what you got to do. So, no, it's not that big of a deal in fat loss. For overall health, just try to get most of your calories from clean foods. And no, that doesn't mean you wash that. That means just whole natural from nature. Um, you got the color hues like the orange sweet potato, all that shit. Deal with that. But that's it, man. You know, you can look at this all you want. Don't overthink it because you're never going to stick to it. If you don't stick to it, you're not going to get sexy. And you don't want to be ugly because being ugly is not a game.